Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website, we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hello and welcome. As you can see, Gig and I are here in space. What's up, dudes? We also have a new friend that will help us learn about the solar system. We call him Bob. My name is actually Bob 72497BDCQ, model number. Okay, okay, that is great, but can we just call you Bob to make it easier? Of course, I like the name Bob. Thank you for asking. Today we are going to learn about the star in our solar system. The sun. The sun is the center of our solar system. The word solar comes from the Latin word sol, which means sun. The sun has had many different names over the ages, and some people even worship the sun. We are going to be putting on our heat shields to get closer because, wow, this star is really hot. The sun is a big glowing ball of gas, and isn't that... <laughs> gas, you say? <laughs> Not that type of gas. And how did you even do that? You're a robot. You know what? Never mind. Anyway, as I was saying, the sun is made up entirely of gas. <laughs> okay, I think we are good on the gas jokes. The sun is a star that is made up mostly of a chemical element called hydrogen. Around 72% of the sun is hydrogen. Houston, we have a go for hydrogen. Not only is the sun mostly made of hydrogen, but it is extremely hot. The sun is so hot that at the center of the sun, it can get over 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Ah! On the surface of the sun, it gets over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That is crazy hot. To give you an idea of how hot that is, I baked a cake the other day and the oven was set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun is a lot hotter than my oven. That is for sure. Where's the cake? Gig, I don't have the cake here. Just chill. Speaking of chill, if the sun were not here, we would be more than chill. We would end up just being a frozen rock. Like a popsicle. Popsicles are yummy. Actually, if the sun was not there, you would not have anything alive on the earth. You definitely would not be eating that popsicle. You would be the popsicle. The sun is so big and so hot that it heats up our earth and keeps us warm. It also does more than keep us warm. The sun helps plants grow, and without plants we would not be able to live. We will go over how plants use sunlight in a separate video later. I still don't think the sun is that awesome. For example, the other day I was just chilling and it started to get dark and scary and there was no light outside. If I wasn't a robot, I would have peed my pants. Or gears. Whatever, it was super scary. Oh Gig, that is not the sun's fault that it got dark. The sun was still there, shining as it always does. The reason why it got dark was because on Earth, we have what we call night and day. The Earth is constantly rotating, or spinning. This means that for one part of the day there will be light, but the other part of the day you will be in the shadow, so it looks dark. Wow, I did not know that. But I still might pee my circuit board at night. Maybe. Okay, well, that's good to know, Gig. Let's talk about how big the sun really is. Bob, do you want to show us how big the sun is? Sure. 
The sun might look small in the sky, but it is humongous. Here are the planets and you can see them compared to the size of the sun. See how small Earth looks compared to the sun? Our sun is the biggest thing in the solar system. The reason why it does not look bigger to us is because on Earth we are far, far away from the sun. The Earth is around 93 million miles away. That is a very far distance to understand. Let's say you got on a plane that can travel around 550 miles per hour. Even being on an airplane going that fast, it would still take over 19 years to get there. Thanks, Bob. The sun is huge and very important to us and our solar system. There is one other thing that our sun does for us that we may not even notice. The sun has an immense amount of gravity which keeps us safe. Gravity is a force of attraction that keeps us on Earth and stops us from floating away. The sun's gravity keeps all the planets, asteroids, and comets revolving around it. Basically, the gravity of the sun keeps all things in order in our solar system. Without the sun, the planets would just fly off to who knows where. Come on, fellas, let's go while the sun is gone. The sun's gravity is strong enough to reach way out there, and man, that is a good thing we have the sun. The sun is so amazing, and this is just the start of what we're going to learn about the solar system. Now take a look at the other planets and solar system videos we have. Let's get back to the ship. Woohoo! Now we get to have cake. I did not say we would have cake. I love cake. Let's get some. First one there gets all the cake. Hey, slow down, you two. Ugh, they're going to eat all my cake, aren't they? Oh man. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.